No Avon brochures? What can you do? Maybe you just signed up to sell Avon for free and you're working on building your first Avon order. Maybe you signed up for Avon for $30 so you could get the Avon starter kit valued at $107 and your kit hasn't arrived yet. Maybe you forgot to include brochures in your order or you're new and you couldn't order brochures to campaigns in advance. Maybe you can't afford brochures or you missed out on getting them in time. Today, we're gonna talk about how you can still sell Avon products without brochures. We'll talk about how to share your digital store, yes, but we are also gonna talk about other real life ways that you can work around not having brochures for the current campaign. So stay tuned. My name is Jennifer Francis and I am a nationally ranked leader and top seller with Avon. I was number one in the nation in 2019 for personal leader development and I'm currently tracking at number two in the nation for that same category this year. In addition, my team of Timeless Beauties are top 10 in the nation in four different categories. If you would like to join us, click the link down in the show notes below to join now or look for the chat link and you can talk with me and my team directly about joining and how we can best support you. So let's talk about how to actually sell Avon products if and when you don't have brochures. So there's several different reasons you might not have brochures. You just signed up and you're waiting on your kit to arrive you signed up for free and you're trying to build your first order. You forgot to include them in your order or you ordered too late. So let's talk strategy. My first tip is to make sure that you're ordering brochures to campaigns in advance whenever possible. This will ensure that you get what you need and also don't wait until the last day of the campaign to place your order. Place it as close to the beginning as possible. But maybe you can't order two campaigns ahead because you just joined for what or for whatever reason. So let's talk some strategy here. My first tip is don't get caught up in campaigns. As Avon representatives, our company has been around for over a hundred years, and sometimes we get caught up in what campaign are we in, and we have to hand out exactly the brochure during the campaign that we're currently in. But honestly, for the most part, the prices don't actually change that much in between campaigns. And if they fluctuate a little bit, more often than not, you can usually get your customer close by back ordering one campaign, which I do anyway to get my customer the best price always. So I suggest handing out brochures for the campaign that you currently do have or whatever you can get your hands on. So for example, we're cur if we're currently in campaign 24 and you don't have campaign 24 books, but you do have campaign 23 books, hand out campaign 23 books. And if you have campaign 25 or can get campaign 25, hand out campaign 25 books. So let's think about this. If you're handing out campaign 23 books, there might be some products in campaign 24 that are new and not in that book, right? So what if you looked through that C24 catalog online and made a list of your customers who you thought would love those C24 products that aren't in the C23 book? Then you text a picture of that product out to the customer specifically. Hey Sally, this is Jen. I saw this and I thought you would love it. What do you think? What have you just done? You have given your customer personalized service where she can make a quick purchase. She can respond to you quickly that she loves it, and yes, please place that order, and then you've followed up, and you've made your message personal to that customer. 
What would your sales look like if you did that to every single customer you handed a book to ever, even a current book? So you found them a product, you thought it would speak to them personally, and you texted them to tell them about it. What would your order size look like if you did that every single campaign? So the same goes if you hand out C25 books in C24. You can back order the C24 prices and with your demo limit, you can order two of every item from C25 with your C24 order. So what does it really matter if the customer is looking at the C25 book? So my next tip is to ask for their order and then get a second order. So we all have those customers that want to look at the book, right? I have them, you have them, we all have them. But what I have found to be true is most of those customers want to look at the book, but when they ask to look at one, they already have an idea of what product they're really looking for. So ask for that order. And this is what it might look like. Hello. Yes, this is Jennifer Francis. Oh my goodness, hi, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely get you an Avon book. I'm so glad you called. I love talking to new customers. What's your favorite Avon product? Oh, the skin's so soft. You know what, guess what? That is on sale right now for a really good price. Yeah. So how many of those can I get you? Four, yep, I'll put you down for four of those and I'll tell you what, when your order comes in, I'll slip a book and some samples in with your order. Does that sound good? Okay, great. I'm placing my order next Wednesday, so it should be in around um, Friday. So I'll contact you next Friday to arrange delivery. All right, talk soon. Thanks, bye-bye. Boom. Two orders are better than one, right? You just got yourself two orders because you took that order and then you're going to give her a book and collect that order when you follow up. And we already talked about this, but sending personal messages with pictures can really be key. What would it look like if you browse through your e-store with specific customers in mind and chose products specifically that you thought they would love and you also learned about how that product would benefit the customer? Then you take that product image, save it to your phone from your e-store and text it to your customer with a personal message about why you thought of them. Now, don't you think that would get a better response than just handing them a brochure in passing or hoping somebody picked your brochure up out of their yard? It might sound like this. Hey, Bobby Sue, I was just thinking about you because you were talking to me the other day about how dry your skin was feeling. I thought of you because I saw Moisture Therapy was on sale and here's the price right now. How many can I get you? Then you pop a brochure in with their next order. And again, you've got two orders instead of one. Relationships and personal service wins the race every single time in this business. And when most people shop, they want it to be quick and they want it to be an easy experience. So why not give them that quick service by suggesting products for them and giving the brochure as the second piece? Now this does not look like posting a link on social media one time or spamming your link to your contact list. This looks like listening when you're talking to people and making genuine connections and solving people's problems. And finally, yes, you can share your digital catalog and e-store links that would take people to browse your e-store or you can send them right to the product that they are looking for and they can place their order on your e-store. So if you got anything at all out of this training, I hope you got this. Relationships and personal service win the race every time and your brochure doesn't have to be your only tool when it comes to making and developing those relationships and getting sales. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Be sure to check out the links that I left for you down in the show notes below. There's lots of goodies and other tips that will help you sell 
more Avon products and get higher Avon sales. My name is Jennifer Francis, the team leader of the Timeless Beauties, and we will see you next time.